Hello everyone, I am Prepper Princess, and as you all know, I have been living below the poverty line for my entire adult life. This is no joke. 34 million Americans live in poverty. Out of that 34, 6.4 million are elderly. These are very grim statistics, but it is even worse <laughs> for those of us that are female, elderly, or a minority. The average food stamp amount given to each individual is $121 a month or $30.25 a week. It is very difficult to get a balanced diet with such a small amount, especially in 2022. But I am going to show you that it can be done. So let's get to it. All right, before we get started, I did just want to prove to you guys that my refrigerator is pretty much empty. I have all the condiments, and the only thing I have in there is bread and some, that is uh, for Rocky, that's for my dog. So it's just like a additive to his dog foods. And the bread I got for free at the thrift store, because my thrift store gives away free food sometimes. <laughs> they won't take no for an answer sometimes. The rules of the game. Okay, so here are the rules of the game. Rule number one, it has to include breakfast, lunch, dinner, and like a treat, not a dessert. So it can be anything like soda, Gatorade, cookies, maybe ice cream, I don't know. It can be a dessert, but it, it can include any dessert like that or something that's, you know, a treat, something not good for you, obviously. And it's not going to include condiments because condiments you can get pretty much anywhere. I mean, you can get barbecue sauce at Jack in the Box or Wendy's. You can get ranch dressing anywhere, all that stuff. And I cannot, I simply am not willing to calculate how much five sprinkles of salt are or three sprinkles of pepper. I'm just not going to get into that. That's where you get into splitting hairs. And it's a little bit ridiculous if you if you get down to it. But um, we are including all of the food and beverages. And like I said, it's got to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a dessert. Now, normally I only drink coffee. I don't uh, eat a lunch. Um, so I, I have to put in something there because some people don't drink coffee and some people do have lunch and that sort of thing. So I'll be adding that in and maybe I'll eat it and maybe I won't, but it'll still be there and it's probably going to be like a light thing, but we will get to it. So let's go shopping today. We're going to be doing it at Walmart. This gonna, is going to be the first of a four part series, which I'll be doing once a week. And don't worry, there will be one video in between each time I do these little things. So it won't just be like one video per week. I do want to let you know I am the author of Living on Almost Nothing, which I will go ahead and link a description to in the box below, but the book is on Amazon and it looks like this. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, we are officially in front of Walmart. I don't know how they're gonna feel about me filming, so I'm gonna have to be quiet, but I did bring a trusty calculator and a notepad just to make sure that I don't go over because this is pretty, pretty difficult budget to work with. And also this is not normally how I would do this. So this makes it pretty much impossible to buy something like if you see meat on sale for $1.99 a pound, you can't really stock up on just $30 and 25 cents a week. So it is a little bit counterproductive, but when you're living week to week, you don't really have a choice. Let's get going. Priorities. We're going to put this back. I have a better idea. didn't have my snickerdoodles cookies which are my favorite so brownies
quick tip, if you are in the store weighing potatoes or apples, remember a three pound bag or a five pound bag is the minimum amount, so make sure that you weigh it because you're gonna get more and you can weigh a few of them and get the most bang for your buck. I already got rice, so I don't need another starch. Maybe next week. Insert cash or select payment type. Insert cash or pay another way. The only Tupperware I have is my Nestle Toll House cookie dough container. Nestle Toll House, not a sponsor yet. <laughs> and now that we are home, it is time to process our food, which is going to be interesting. But first things first is we're going to take, remember it was $30 and 25 cents. So here's the 25 cents. And then here's the change of $6.57. We're gonna put it in this cup along with the receipt and we're just gonna set it aside. And at the end of the month, hopefully we'll have enough left to treat ourselves. We will find out. But in the meantime, we're going to be rationing and doing everything that we can to conserve our food as much as possible. One of the first things that I like to do is take my milk and an empty container. And then I will pour some, th what this does is it makes the milk 25% more of it. So I'll take this and take it down by about a quarter. This is whole milk, by the way. And then I'll add water. Look at that, you just saved 25% off of your milk. So we now have another full jug of milk, plus we've got some extra because I'll be eating cereal for breakfast and I like milk in my coffee. If you don't drink coffee, this isn't gonna be an issue. You don't really have to do it, but it's just another way to save. Kind of like the apple thing, weigh a couple of bags to make sure you get the most bang for your buck because you might get 3.16 pounds. You might get 3.98 pounds. Who knows, you might even get 4.5 pounds. We don't know, but we've already got extra milk. The chicken, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all the meat off of the chicken and then I'm going to take the carcass or the bones, stick it in the crock pot, and we're going to take these carrots, we're gonna shave them up, okay? And then we're gonna take the shavings and put them in the crock pot with the chicken carcass. So that's gonna make a nice soup. So let's go ahead and start getting all of this food cooked. But for right now, I'll see if I can organize it into breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert and show you what I've got. Okay, so just giving you a quick thing, here's the breakfast. That's gonna be my coffee. What I do is I make it in this five, five cup one and I make one, one pot per day, which is really just five cups. So 
uh, I'll do do one cup when I go to work and then I'll come home on my lunch and I drink the second cup or bring it with me to work and drink it throughout the day. So that's what I've always done anyway. Um, if I have extra coffee, I'll make an espresso into an iced coffee drink. And I also have a soy milk maker, so I don't usually buy milk. I make my own soy, it costs $18 a year. Anyway, so this is nine servings, one cup per serving. We're going seven days, so we should have two servings left over by the end of the week. We've got our milk and we've got our coffee. So there's our breakfast. Our lunch is going to be deviled eggs, uh, carrots and celery, and what I'm gonna do with the fruit, because I've got four pieces of fruit, I'm gonna do half a banana the first day, half a banana the second, half an orange, half an orange, and then I'll have an extra, a little bit extra at the end of the week. But um, since there's only seven days and there's 12 eggs, we've got five extra eggs in here, okay? So if I get hungry, I can eat a hard boiled egg or a deviled egg, really good stuff. And we've got our fruit and vegetables right here. And don't forget there's fruit in Raisin Bran. And I chose Raisin Bran. It wasn't the cheapest, but it does have fiber. So that's really good. And then for dinner, we've got our meat, our starch, and our veggies. I went a little light on the veggies because they were kind of expensive. And again, we're living on a budget. And then we've got our dessert. Uh, the pre-made milk, the pre-made brownies were like $5. This was like much, much less and it's gonna require two eggs, so that brings our five eggs down to three extra eggs for the week. So, what I'm gonna do with the camera off is trip over my dog, because he likes to sit right at my feet whenever I'm in the kitchen. But I'm going to, um, I'm gonna grate the carrots, I'm gonna put this in a crock pot. Uh, well, I'm gonna cut up the meat, put it in a crock pot, and then I'll show you what we've got when we're done. I'm also gonna bake the brownies. Should make at least nine brownies. Uh, so one brownie per day, so I've got it all taken care of. Let's get to it. Got to do the taste test of the chicken with the skin. Everybody either loves or hates the skin. I love it. Disgusting to some vegans out there, but... Mm. Don't look at me like that. You do it too. Mmm. Gotta love that pre-made chicken at Walmart. Cheap, only four fifty. You can't beat that. Oh, it's so good. Mm. All right, so we are all cooked up. As you can see, I've got a sink full of dirty dishes. So I just wanted to give you a visual representation of what breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert's gonna look like every day. So here we've got breakfast. Raisin bran, one cup and it's a heart healthy, good, good amount of fiber. And then we've got the whole milk plus a cup of coffee. And I drink my coffee with creamer. So uh, we're gonna have that. And then we go over to lunchtime. Lunchtime, we're gonna have deviled eggs, half a piece of fruit, and then we've got the carrots and celery. And I'm gonna put some ranch dressing too. Or if, I don't, if, I, if you don't have ranch dressing, you can also mix together ketchup and mayonnaise and a little bit of pepper, and it'll make a really good dressing. I just didn't want to waste it for the presentation. So this will be my lunch tomorrow, along with my second cup of coffee, which usually goes in there, and I bring it with me to work. Third, we've got dinner. So we've got our chicken, we've got our rice, and then we've got half a plate of veggies. I surprisingly have more veggies than I thought, and I like to eat them raw, so we're just going to leave that as is and for dessert we're gonna have hey where'd the brownie go i ate it ah so i'm on a sugar high right now these just came out of the oven and i was gonna make you guys a beautiful presentation and we all know the corner piece is the absolutely best piece uh, i was gonna make you a nice presentation and because it just came out of the oven it just kind of flopped on the plate and didn't look right so we had to get rid of that one way or the other and we all know that i'm gonna eat it but fortunately it looks like this is gonna bake more like 12 brownies instead of nine unless i want like giant brownies you know what i mean so it's gonna i'm gonna get like two brownies a day plus yeah two brownies a day well almost two brownies a day and then we took the chicken carcass, put it in there with the carrot and celery. So we're gonna make a nice stock there really soon. And we're gonna use my crock pot that was repaired with a lawnmower part when the button, and this lawnmower part actually works way better than the original. But this is gonna be the first week of what we're doing living 
on $30.25 per week. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And don't forget, this is only one in a four, maybe even five, if you guys really dig this stuff, maybe even a five part series on how to live on $30.25 a week, which is the average amount of an EBT or SNAP benefit or food stamp benefit. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and don't tell me, don't make any suggestions in the comment on future recipes because I already, I, I already think I know what I want to do. And I, well, I guess you guys can give ideas, but um, yeah, just <laughs> but I think I already know what I want to do for the other three. So uh, don't, don't spoil it for me is what I'm trying to say. All right, folks, do what you can with what you've got. I can do this all day. Prepper Princess out.